How's it going everybody? Ecom Tom here with another video coming at you and be sure to smash that like button because in this video I'm going to teach you exactly what software you need for your eBay dropshipping store. There's a lot of convolution out there, lots of different programs that people suggest that you should be using, but you really don't need that many different programs. I'm going to show you exactly what you need in this video. So be sure to smash that like button like I said. Also be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, I drop videos like this every single week, multiple times a week. Check out my Instagram down below as well. It's brand new. I post native content to that every day. And if you are new here, also be sure to check out the free eBay dropshipping mini course down below in the description if you want to learn more about eBay dropshipping. So this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what programs you need, exactly how much it costs, and which ones you can get rid of, which ones you don't need, which ones you should avoid, and everything like that. So hopefully you enjoy this video and they'll see you inside of my computer. All right, so the number one most important and best software out there is SkewGrid. SkewGrid is a stock management and repricing tool, which means that at your supplier, when the stock changes, if it goes to out of stock or anything like that, and if the price changes, it will change your stock and price on eBay. But you know, there's a ton of them out there. Why would I choose SkewGrid? SkewGrid is by far the most robust out of any single repricing stock management tool out there. I'd say light years ahead of all the other ones. SkewGrid not only covers over like 500 US based suppliers, but they also have different marketplaces and everything like that if you want to start branching out from eBay dropshipping onto other forms of dropshipping. You know, most of these tools out there really cater to the status quo, to what everybody else is doing. And if you take my teaching, if you take my course or anything that I show online on YouTube about eBay, is that you do not want to be doing what everybody else is doing. If you do what everybody else is doing, then you will be getting the results that everybody else is getting, which for the most part isn't that great. But when you start to differ from the status quo, when you start to go on the path less traveled, you will start seeing immense success, which a lot of my students have been doing. And the main reason because of this is because they use different suppliers than you know the, the status quo, the Amazon, the Walmarts, the Home Depots, and they're doing different things like bundle pairing, multi-packs, and everything that SkewGrid does allow you to do. So if you want to be using a more expensive and less robust software, then sure, go out there and use the other ones out there. But SkewGrid is by far the best. It's the cheapest, it's the most robust, and it has non-API solutions. So a lot of people out there are still using API-based repricing when doing retail arbitrage. And I wanna show you, if you haven't seen this already, I've shown this in tens of videos, many videos, this is eBay's API agreement, and if you look, this is section nine is restricted activities, activities that you cannot do. You cannot use their API to do. And if you look at 9.7, it says you cannot, restricted activities, use eBay's services to promote or engage in seller arbitrage, which is what we're doing here. For example, automatically repricing eBay listings in response to price changes on competitor sites, which is what we're doing here, automatically ordering sold items from competitor sites, which is what a lot of these programs are doing, Skewer does not have that, and posting tracking information to eBay when items purchased from competitor sites are shipped. So, you know, that's that's also not really to do with what Skew Grid's doing, but you need to look. You cannot use the API to be doing this. This is why accounts are getting flagged, using Amazon onto eBay is another big reason, and using software that promotes API-based repricing is going to get you flagged. SkewGrid has non-API-based repricing, multiple different ways to do it, whether it's a Chrome extension, the token, I teach all of it inside of my course, and it's extremely important to be using a software like this. We'll scroll down. Not only do they support eBay, Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, WooCommerce, Bonanza, Mercado Libre, they have Walmart and other ones coming, 520 plus base US supported stores, Bunch of stuff right here that I'm not gonna go over in too much depth, but their price, $14 a month, and you can monitor up to 200 items, but there's also something called the Guru Plan that just gives you 50,000 credits for $15 a month. This is really all you need to get started. It's $15, so we're gonna put the price right now at $15, and that's where we're gonna build from here. We're gonna show you exactly how much it costs every single month, for all of these software combined. You don't need to see anything else here, but if you scroll down, you'll see, oh, we are a partner with them. You know, we have a great relationship with them, but here's all the supported suppliers. There's absolutely tons of them. No other program out there has anything close to this, and that's what brings SkewGrid to the top of my list, why I've loved them, why I've been using them for over a year and would never change and switch to other ones as much as they beg me to do so. So that's the number one most important software, and now we're going to get into number two. All right, number two most important program I'm out there for your eBay dropshipping business is Zik Analytics. Zik Analytics is a product research tool, and although you can do this by hand, I highly suggest that if you have enough money to do so, then you should be purchasing Zik Analytics. It's a monthly subscription, and if we go into the pricing right now, I guess they have a spring starter plan. All you need is the starter plan. You don't need anything more than that. They're standard enterprise. You don't need it, but you can get also $5 off, um, I believe, the first month if you check down below in the description. But you know, it's only $14.98 right now because it's 50% off. I believe there's like a spring deal going on. 
it is going to help you source items extremely quickly. All you need to do is use one specific tool. I'm going to show you exactly what you need inside of it. So when you log in to Zik Analytics, there's a bunch here. There's tons of things, dashboard, product research, competitor research, category, Zik Pro, which I've never used, wholesale product database, which I've never used, title builder, which I don't really use, school. You know, you're gonna get confused if you watch their videos. I can guarantee you that. I hear that from a lot of my students and I just wanna tell you right off the bat, all you need is competitor research. Once you go to competitor research, you type in somebody's name, which you know is selling Walmart items or you know is selling Home Depot items or whatever your supplier is items, you put in their name, you search it, and it's gonna show you how many times those items have sold within the last 30 days. That's all you need to be doing. So once you do that, you know, you pick the items that have sold, you know, five or more times in the last 30 days, and that's that. That's as simple as it gets. Only use the competitor research tool because you will get confused using other forms of this tool. It's going to immensely speed up your sourcing process. It's going to immensely speed up just the fact that you can find so many items or give this off to your virtual assistant and give them rules on how to do so. It's really going to make everything so much easier. I've been using SkewGrid. I mean, Zik Analytics pretty much since the, the very beginning. It's the longest software I've been using since I've started. I believe right when I first got started, I bought a yearly plan, called it a day. For a year, I used it almost every single time. I did try doing it by hand at first for maybe like a week. And then I was like, no, I'm done, Zik Analytics. So Zik Analytics comes highly you know, approved by many people or recommended by many people out there. People in my course love it. Yes, you can do it by hand, but again, if you have the money, then be using, then, then why not be doing this? So, you know, I'm gonna say it's $29.99 a month because that's what it actually is if you pay monthly. I always suggest paying monthly instead of yearly for any software out there because you never know if you're gonna be doing this in two months from now. What if, you know, what if this just isn't for you? What if you don't wanna be doing this? You know, always do monthly. You know, it's not that much of a difference. So we'll do $29.99 right now, and that's what the price of this is. So, you know, we got $15 for SKU Grid. $29.99 for this. You know, if you get the deal, then you're in at $15 on this as well. But we'll do that. So right now we're at $45 total dollars per month. And let's get into software number three. All right, here we are. And software number three is going to be spot and paste. Spot and paste is going to extremely speed up the order processing part of your business. So instead of having to copy and paste every single person's address or type them out by hand, spot and paste is a Chrome extension that pulls in every single person's ordering address, their name, their address, their city, their state, their zip code, their phone number, their email, pulls everything into a Chrome extension. And then from there, you can program it to your supplier's website. So if you're buying items off of Walmart, you know, Amazon, Home Depot, the, the big most common ones, then it's already pre-programmed with all of those suppliers. But the coolest part about spot and paste is that you can actually program it to any supplier you want. I have a bunch of different suppliers I use, a lot of which are not very mainstream, even wholesale suppliers, and you can program it to any supplier's website. So all you need to do is pop up the Chrome extension, which I don't have on the incognito window I'm using, and then you just drag and drop the person's information into the right spots on that website. And at that point in time, Spot and Paste remembers that website. And every single time, all you need to do is click copy on eBay and then click paste into the supplier's website when you're checking out. You don't need to worry about mistyping anything. You don't need to worry about copying and pasting going back and forth. And also, if you are going through, this is a big thing, if you are going through cashback websites, which I don't actually really do anymore, but if you are using the cashback websites as a big part of your business, this is what it actually looks like right here, the spot and paste application. If you are going through cashback websites and you're moving from website to website trying to go back and forth and copy and paste this person's information, then there's a chance that you might not get your cash back. And that is because cashback websites work by placing cookies into your browser. If you go to eBay, eBay might overwrite those cookies and then therefore, you know, your, your cashback website won't even know that you went through or finished a purchase through, um, you know, that, that actual cashback portal even though you did. So that's one big thing that Spawn Paste helps out with. You know, there, it's very versatile, works with eBay, works with Amazon, works with all these different, um, you know, systems out there, works with SKU Grid's Order Dash, if you use that, Web Scraper app, SKU Grid in general, and SKU Grid item retrieval. So you can connect your SKU Grid account, which we talked about, you need SKU Grid at the beginning, you can connect that into your Spot and Paste app, and then when you go onto eBay, it can read that that item was this on SKU Grid, and then it just says retrieve on retrieve item from SKU Grid. You click it, and it automatically opens up your supplier's website without you having to figure out what the item was or you know put any other systems in place. It's a great software. It's amazing. Jenny, the person that runs it, she's a, she's a great woman as well. This is a great program, all for fourteen ninety nine a month. One user plan, fourteen ninety nine a month. So we were at fifteen for SKU Grid. 30 for Zik Analytics just to make it easier. That's 45 plus another 15, we're at $60 per month. How many businesses can you run for $60 per month 
Not very many, I can guarantee you that. So there's one more software we're gonna be talking about, this is number four, and I'll see you there. All right, so here we are, software number four is TrackerBot, and I'm on the homepage with one of their ads, wearing the same exact shirt that I am right now, so you know that this is a great program because I'm on the homepage. So TrackerBot is basically going to upload your tracking numbers into eBay for you. I don't like using the API version anymore, but they came out with TrackerBot non-API. So if you go to trackerbot.me, you go to their non-API version, here I am on the homepage again, this is going to get you to upload your tracking numbers onto eBay without the API, without any form, because if we did see the eBay's API terms of service, like I said in the beginning, which I showed, it says to not upload your tracking numbers through the API. Is it going to get you in trouble? I'm not sure, but I'm not going to take the risk. So let's go and use the semi-auto version of TrackerBot. Again, this software is pretty damn cheap. It is $11.99 a month for the starter plan, which gives you 150 orders or trackings per month. So if you're not doing over 150 orders, which if you're a beginner and you're watching this video, then you probably aren't doing so, then it's only $12 per month. This is monthly, annually, uh, you know, it's less, but again, like I said, always go monthly for the for the time being. And then there's a professional plan. If you're doing 500 orders per month, it's only $18. 1500 is only 25. So, you know, it's really not that much of an expensive plan. We're gonna say it's $12 a month. The other software altogether was 60. Now with $12, it is $72 per month. How many businesses can you run for $72 per month? TrackerBot works very well. What it does is it works with specific different suppliers. Here's all the suppliers it works with. They add tons of new ones on all the time. You know, there's like probably 10 new ones since the last time I checked this website. So, you know, they're growing every single day and they're just putting new suppliers on here. If you need a new supplier, you can most likely contact them and they'll add it in there. It's really not that challenging for them to do so. So that's Tracker Bot. But I do have one last thing to say here, and we're gonna get this up to what you need for a total package, and it's going to be $100. And I'm gonna show you exactly that right now. All right, and last but not least, to get us up to $100 a month flat, no business out there besides a drop shipping business can be run for $100 a month or less. And again, that, that just goes to show that this is the power of dropshipping and why it is one of the best program or ways to make money out online out there. So basically the basic eBay store, you need an eBay store. This isn't really a software, but you do need an eBay store. I highly suggest going with the basic store. Don't go yearly. It's $27.95 a month without the, you know, without the yearly plan. So we're at 72, that's 28. It's literally $100 exactly per month in software in order to run an eBay dropshipping business. And why do you need a basic store? First off, you get free listings. You don't have to pay for $250 of 250 listings per month, insertion fee wise. You don't have to pay the 25 cents or the 30 cents, you know, but with the starter store, again, I don't really like it. You're gonna be listing more than 100 items. But again, the main reason why you wanna be getting a store, you could go starter if you wanted, but I think it's cool first off to add it up to $100 exactly. Secondly, you're going to be getting a lot more listings um, to start off with, and you could probably do 250 in your first month if you were very de dedicated and diligent. But the real thing here is that you're going to be getting a final value fee reduction. If you do not have a store plan whatsoever, then you're gonna be paying 10% fees at, in the minimum across the board. But if you do have a store, then the average you know, actual fee on your listings is going to be 9.15%. So you're gonna be getting almost a 1% advantage or discount on all of your fees, your final value fees of the items that you sell. And if you end up selling more than $2,800 in a month, which is very achievable to be doing, then you're going to be losing money if you don't have a basic store. So you wanna get a basic store and that's about that. So that's pretty much this entire video. Here I am full screen again. You know, I showed the four different programs. You want SkewGrid, Zik Analytics, Spot and Paste, TrackerBot, and also you want a monthly subscription to the basic eBay store. All of that's going to be $100 per month. Again, you can pick and choose what you want. If you're not making that many orders, you don't need to be doing Spot and Paste or really TrackerBot. But again, this is an overarching, the only four programs you really truly need to run your store to the T. This is all I use, that's all I use. You know, there's some more advanced programs out there for like taxes and stuff like that. But again, we're not gonna be getting into that. But really, that's all you need to be running your store to get up and running and to even be doing, you know, 50, 60, 70,000 dollars a month in sales. If you like this video, like I said, please be sure to smash this like button. Let's get it out to as many people as possible so they stop buying these bunk programs, so they stop wasting their money on programs that they don't need. You know, really only r running a lean store, that's all you need to be doing. You need to run a lean store, not worry about the software as much, but worry about the growing your business, your virtual assistants, and saving the money with these programs will give you the ability to have more virtual assistants later on down the road. So it's a win-win. It's exactly what I do to run my stores and exactly how I've become successful with eBay dropshipping. So hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long or too dragged out. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.